Hello, it's Stephen of Saying 10,000 here. Hearing my voice for once. Ha ha ha. Anyway, the reason I'm doing this today, the one most common question I get asked on my videos, and it's getting so long now that I'm just going to do it, is how do you get custom firmware on your PSP? How do you get custom firmware? Where do you get custom firmware? How do you get that game? So I'm just going to show you. So today I'm doing a noob's guide on how to hack your PSP. Anybody could do this in five minutes. I mean literally it doesn't matter what PSP model you're on. This is you will be on custom firmware in about ten minutes tops. So the first step is finding out what firmware you want because this is important to what file you're going to be downloading which I'm going to be showing you in the next part um, so to do that I'm already in custom firmware I don't think how do you recall that without custom firmware I'm on custom firmware you go to settings then you go to system settings and then you go to system information and then you will get a version you'll get a version in a number you won't get the pro dash da 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 bit you'll get the nickname and you'll get a bunch of numbers and letters instead of model da 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 so for example because my PSP is saying 6.35 my official firmware will be version 6.35 now if you want version 6.20 6.35 or 6.39 then you are perfectly fine you can get onto custom firmware without doing anything you can step a step I'm about we'll show in a minute um, if you are not you will need to update which right. I will show this you in a minute is not needed for people who are already on 6.20 6.35 or 6.39 firmware you can step this get and go straight to the one I'll show you later this is for people who need to update so here anyway this is a text version of the guide I'm giving you today I'll put the link in the description first is first this picture this is what I was talking about before you'll have a version and then a number if that number is 6.20 or 6.39 step this step you do not need to update if it's not on 6.20, 6.35 or 6.39, follow this step. So what you need to do is update your PSP like you normally would. So if you are below 6.20, you need to update you can update any one of these files. If you are above 6.20 or not quite on 6.35, you need to you need to install one of these two. If you are above 6.35, but you're not quite on 6.39, you can only update to that one. So basically, far as I remember, if you are on below 6.2, you sweet. I don't even know why you're following this guide. If you're below that version, you can just do another method. Um, if you're on 6.30 or 6.31, update to 6.35. If you're on, on 6.37, update to 6.39. Simple. Right. Files you'll be downloading depend on what PSP you're on. If you are on a non-PSP Go, which means the one that doesn't slide up or down, you need to install what download the top file, depending on what PSP firmware you're on. If you are on a PSP Go, which is the one that slides, you need to download one of the bottom three files. And then you base, for example, I am not on a Go, and I am 6.37 for example. I'm not, but I could be. So, I need to download, click on the link, click download, save it like you normally would and wait for it to download this so I will be back once I've downloaded the file anyway the download is 
now done. Ta da! So, you're going to need a program that extracts RAR files. Now, you can use WinRAR if you've got it, but it's not free, and I'm not giving you a link to it. Anyway, um, you can download a free program called 7zip, which does the exact same job, as far as I know. Yeah, it should do, yeah. Um, you download the .exe if you're running the 32-bit version of Windows. You download the .msi if you're using the 64-bit version of Windows. Anyway, um, once you've done that, you need to extract it to a folder somewhere, like here, and you need to copy it. Then you need to um, put your PSP into USB mode. You need to go to, oops, not pictures, PSP, and then game. Right, if there's not a folder here, you need to make a new folder and call it in capital letters update in capital letters and then you are pasting it into that folder now once you've done that you will find the update in the memory card section of the game folder. Now update your PSP like you would normally do would on a normal update. Go through the instructions, go through the instructions, click start, install the update like you would any other update, say if you got a new game or something. You must have updated your PSP before, otherwise you wouldn't be playing games like this still after a decim. Um, to there is if you turn the PSP off or take the memory card out during the update, you will break the PSP. So make sure your PSP is fully charged and make sure your PSP is on the adapter before you update to minimize the chance of your PSP accidentally turning off during the update. The update takes about four minutes. As far as I know, the PSP won't even let you update unless your battery's on like 75% anyway. So, do that, and then follow the next part of my guide, and I told you not to come up. Which I will show in a second. So, you should have done your update now. You should be now on 6.20, 6.35, or 6.39, depending on what you did. So, now... Go back to that first link I gave you, and you know, duh, 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 duh. now, depending on what update you installed, you need to click on download one of these files. If you update to 6.20, you need to click on this one. If you update to 6.35, you need to click on this one. You click on 6.39, if you update to 6.39. Or for people who didn't need to update, if you're on 6.20, that one, 6.35, that one, 6.39, that one. So basically, this file you've got to download has to match the version of the firmware you are on. You cannot be on 6.20 and download a 6.35 version. Got that? So, I'm going to download 6.35 because, actually, no... Damn you, crime. Anyway, assuming that I just updated the 6.39, which I didn't, but hey ho, I'm going to click on the 6.39 download. If it don't load first time, just refresh it. Download it. And save it. This one's a lot shorter. So that is now done. What you need to do now is extract these and
and um, now you see this ignore this file if you're on 6.3 um, 9 for now this I will show in another video at some point ignore that third file that third file is not there this is what your file's most probably going to look like if you download 6.20 or 6.35. Either on 6.39, you'll have that one as well, but ignore it. You need to copy the Pro Update and the Fast Recovery. You need to put your PSP back into USB mode so you can access its file. We are going to go to PSP and game again. Once you update, you can now delete the update because that's to save you 30 megabytes. Now, these updates you will now put this update in. You now paste these two folders to these two. Um, folders into this folder into the game folder I will not be doing it because I already have them for my firmware um, so yeah simple as so I'll be back in a minute because I am switching back to the PSP mahahaha <laughs> This is the last step. In about 30 seconds, you'll be on custom firmware, and then your PSP will disappear. <laughs> I'm joking. This is the final step, honestly. Right. In your game section of your PSP now, you should have two files. You should have a Pro Update and a Pro Fast Recovery. I can't record this last step because the PSP can't capture this. That program, but you need to load this and it will load and it will come up with a menu. Press X to install custom firmware, it will do it. It will then go reboot into custom firmware and then it will return to this. If you have successfully been on custom firmware, you should be able to press select and it should come up with this menu. If it comes up with that, you are successfully on custom firmware. Right, if you want the text version of this guide, just to make sure you don't want to completely screw up, I will link the, the links I will be giving you to the file also has a text version of the guide I've just given. So, yeah. That is it. That's custom firmware. There's one more thing I'm going to show you, which I shall be back in a minute. So right, this final yeah. step is not necessary, I'm just sewing up to make your life a bit easier for starting out on custom firmware. Right. Put your PSP back into USB mode. Da da. Right, in the root of your PSP folder you need to make two new folders. Your first one will be ISO, I-S-O, all capital letters because this will be where your game files will go without this folder the PSP will not recognize any ISOs or CSO files so yeah then if you want to use plugins which I will be going to in my next video I'm going to give you a simple guide on how to do a simple thing with a plugin to do something with the PSP you need to make another one called SE plugins so anyway in the next two video I'm going really to be explaining two plugins I am going to in the next, I'm going to make three more videos explaining three plugins you can use for your PSP. 
you I'll first be teaching you how to use MP Loader, which is a plugin that allows you to pl use decrypted downloadable content files, which means you can play downloadable content from other regions on your own version of the game. For example, you can play Japanese Distiller through a Decim DLC on your European version of the game. Next, I'll be showing you Pops Loader, which is a plugin that helps you play PS1 games easier on your PSP and I'll be teaching you how to play any PS1 game you like on your PSP. And then the final one will be about Remote Joy Lite, which is the software I was using today to capture my PSP and what I use to capture my PSP. I'll be teaching you how to set that up and use it and how to record it. And then I'll also teach you how to get sound on your PSP with that to record sound with the thing as well. So, yeah, there are the three videos I'll be coming up with. So, the next one will be MP Loader, which is, like I said, a nice little plugin that allows you to play decrypted DLC on your PSP. So, until then, Studio Say 10,000, sign out for now. Catch you later.